Okay, I should be live. Hello, 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 hello. If you're watching after the stream is already up, I'll have timestamps for you down below when we get into welcome home. As always, I have a couple of things to do before the stream starts today. Happy Saturday the 14th. Did I think I was going live for Friday the 13th? Maybe I did a little bit. Um, and then something very important came up in the form of a Halloween party. And so I went to that. <laughs> but I did have a lot of fun. I had a, a ton of fun, actually. I dressed up as Jessica Rabbit. Jessica Rabbit is officially my first Halloween costume of 2023, which is pretty slay, if I do say so myself. So it should be good there. I don't even know if anybody's here yet. Oh, I do have people here. Hello. 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 Welcome home. <laughs> oh my God, you guys. I saw so many Barbies last night. And I would go, hi, Barbie. And they go, hi, Jessica. Because <laughs> I was, you know, Jessica Rabbit. It was cute. It was really, really cute. I haven't posted any photos or anything yet. I was going to today. Um, side note, can we talk about this wig? I decided to wig it today because I wore a wig last night. So my hair underneath the wig was already like, like slicked back and gelled. And I would have had to wash it before I did today's stream. And I was kind of just like, I really don't want to wash my hair today. And it's just, it's, it's gross. Cause there's like a bunch of like got to be gel and stuff in there. So I like threw on a bald cap, <laughs> not a bald cap, but I threw on a wig cap and then I threw on this hair. She's a synthetic wig from Amazon. I honestly, I kind of think I might need to update my Amazon storefront, which I only use sometimes, but like, I feel like I need to update it to like have like my favorite wigs and stuff like that, because this was just a random Amazon find and it's good. It's really good. Let me get to super chats and stuff. Casey Matthews, thank you so much for your super chat. I really appreciate the support. Thank you, thank you. Monica Lewinsky asking, why am I so gorgeous? Why are you so gorgeous, Monica Lewinsky? I love you. Thanks for being here. Welcome. Kylantis also said, hello, uh, beautiful, gorgeous lady. I'm so excited for this update. Also, I love the hair. Thanks, babe. <laughs> I'm excited to look at the update with you guys, too. I'm going in really, really, really blind. Like, I have no idea what to expect. I literally got a DM on Instagram that was like, hey, welcome home update. I was like really i went to the website because i was like no way did i miss a welcome home update and i went and there's a welcome home update so <laughs> i really appreciate the girl who messaged me on instagram to tell me about it also liana m 98 thank you so much for your super chat too hey Louie, how are y'all over there loving the wig doing good doing good i'm honestly so very pleased to say so very pleased to say that Mr. Riley no longer has a bandage on his little foot. He doesn't have to wear a bandage anymore. Isn't that great? I took him in yesterday. My car got, oh my God, wait, we have a lot to catch up on actually. We have a lot to catch up on. Yesterday was quite the Friday the 13th for me. Welcome to your first stream, little meows. Do we have any mods? Oh, we have Local Inquisitor. Okay, Local Inquisitor and Blue. Slay. Slay, slay, slay. Hi, Stephanie. We met at the Renaissance Fair. Oh, my God. I'm so happy. I hope we can meet at another one. Will's pin, please. Got it. Um, Could someone paste the rules? For me, I'm gonna find them. Maybe this one. I think I got it. I think blue. Let me know if that's right. I just copied it from the mod Discord. Um. So yesterday. 
yesterday i take riley into the bat actually also liza thanks for joining the channel memberships new members only video coming i swear i'm still editing down the halloween horror nights vlog but i took you guys into every single haunted house at halloween horror night so that's the members only video coming up like very soon i wanted to get it out this week um but couldn't swing it um so, oh, wait, also Paigey. Sorry, let me get through these and I'll <laughs> get to my story, I swear. Um, Paigey said the hair is iconic. I love you, bestie. I love you, bestie. Thank you so much for your super chat. And I also love the hair. So I'm glad you do too. Um, Monica also said King Riley. So true. So I'm at Riley's, um, I'm at Riley's appointment yesterday. And I've had to go, yesterday was Riley's final appointment with our surgery team which was incredibly incredibly exciting like oh my god I'm so happy yesterday was his final meeting with the surgery team and honestly it's crazy because he was supposed to have like a three-week recovery and you know like everybody heals and, and even dogs like um they heal differently and um like it, it makes sense that he didn't recover in the time that they initially thought but I mean it took like how deep are we now almost two months month and a half for him to fully recover maybe maybe more than that actually at this point um so we're at the vet appointment yesterday and I'm not too hopeful that the bandage is actually going to come off and I'm just sitting in the parking lot because my vet has and honestly I appreciate it listen shit I don't mind uh the like um, don't forget to listen to the mods, you guys. I have rules pinned, but we're, we, oh my God, sorry. <laughs> Please listen to the mods. They're here, uh, volunteering their time. Um, but I'm sitting in my car and again, I kind of, I kind of dig this, this process because I don't mind waiting in the car. Um, but I feel like nobody has updated at least my veterinarians haven't since COVID. Like every time that I have an appointment or something, I wait in the car while he goes in, whatever. And it's like that with my normal vet. It's like that with my surgery team and, um, well, Riley's surgery team. So we're there and I'm sitting in the car and I'm just scrolling on my phone and it took me forever to find parking because I live in Los Angeles and yada, yada, yada. So I'm just sitting in my car, I'm on my phone and I feel my entire body like lurch forward. And I still had on my seatbelt from driving the car. I just didn't think to take it off. And I honestly wonder if I would have bumped my head when this happened. Um, I lurch all the way forward. I feel my car kind of like hit the bumper in front of me. And I'm like, whoa, like what just happened? And I turn around and a car backed into me. Like they just like hit me. And I was like, oh my God, like just like very taken aback. Like they were trying to back out and they hit me. Sh shit happens though obviously um Casey I don't think that I you didn't have a super chat come through honey um but <laughs> I do keep an eye as best I can Rebecca Lee thanks for four months hi Lily also shout out to the mods so true um but sometimes super chat is kind of funky though so let me know if if I'm, I'm missing something mods please um and so uh, things happen, whatever. I get out of my car and I'm looking at the back of my car and I, everything looks totally fine. Like there isn't a scratch, isn't a dent, like nothing on my car. Somebody literally just played like, it felt like bumper cars. Like that's what it felt like. It felt like somebody just like bumped into me. So my car is fine, whatever. And I look at the car as it's like driving off because I'm expecting them to like park again, get out of their car. They just drive away. They just, they, they just start driving and I'm like looking over their bumper and I'm like, wait, is the bumper of their car good? And the, the, uh, the security guard for the, uh, for the parking lot, like saw the whole thing happen. Like the security guard for the veterinarian's office, um, saw all of it happen and like flagged down the car and was like, Hey, like, what are you doing? Like you just hit somebody. And so I like went over and I was like, well, my car is fine. I mean, I don't know, like, you know, whatever. And it was just like an older person with their dog. I'm sure that was there for an appointment, but they hit my car in a parking lot with cameras and a security guard. And they were just going to drive away. I was just like, 
that's just crazy to me because again i got out i immediately knew my car was fine i knew that their car looked fine too but they didn't even get out of their car i don't know if that's like normal um it's never happened to me before but literally like a hit and run in a parking lot <laughs> like with a security guard i was like what are you doing i was so confused i don't know what happened after that i just went back to my car the security guard was like like came over and like checked out my car and like got like under it and like made sure absolutely nothing was damaged and i have no idea if their car was okay but what the heck <laughs> isn't that wild i was shocked i couldn't believe it because again like it wasn't a big deal but how do you know that from inside your car and that's my story So <laughs> that's what I wanted to tell. But um, so after that, crazy, um, the doctors came out and they were like, OK, like Riley doesn't have to have on his bandage anymore. And I was like, oh, my God, I'm so excited. So he's home. His little foot looks so he's only missing one toe, but his foot. And you know what's funny? I was telling this to my friends last night. His foot looks so little to me. It just looks like a little baby foot. He's walking totally fine. But I think the reason that looks so small to me is I haven't seen it normal and not swollen since before the summer. Like when when the mass first started, like when when it first started growing, which was again over the summer. Um. So. But yeah, Slay Riley, love that. Meanwhile, I was the maid of honor to a skeleton and other person wedding. My club's bonfire last night. Oh my God, I just like breathed in dust. <coughs> <coughs> Have fun at karaoke, Amanda. <laughs> Ignore me. Will I be streaming tomorrow too? Yes, usual Sunday scream stream. I thought I would just hop on to chat about the welcome home update, which I don't think... Um, I don't think we'll take too long. Maybe we'll end up playing a game or something. Hi, Holly. <laughs> Shy in the mod chat goes, oh, we're live. I said, yeah, it was a surprise. And Shy goes, you've succeeded. I'm surprised. <laughs> so yeah, maybe we'll end up um, going over Welcome Home, playing some games. Maybe it'll just be a really, really short stream tonight. Hey, Shy, I was just talking about surprising you. Shy, do you like the wig? Do we love her? I should probably post that I'm live. Because I did take some kind of sick selfies. I'm not going to lie. Like, I kind of took some sick selfies. I can't decide which one I like better, though. I think I like that one. Um, so I started watching that new show, um, The Fall of the House of Usher. I think it's really interesting so far. Like, really, really, really interesting. I'm trying to find this link. 
which always this this happens every single time thanks for seven months Haley Haley Fry thank you so much I love you I will thank you all properly in a moment Okay. I posted a sick selfie on Instagram if you want to go see it <laughs> to say that I'm live. My toxic trait is that I literally put one cool synthetic wig on my head, like one really good one. And I'm like, oh, I need this exact hair, but in human hair so I can wear it every single day. But this is fine. Like, I really don't wear wigs. Like, I'll wear wigs often, but I won't wear them for long. So I guess it doesn't matter that they're synthetic. Um, Rebecca Lee, thanks for four months. Hi, Lily. Also, shout out to the mods. I think I read that earlier, but thank you again. Danny, thank you so much for your super chat. So nice feeling like I'm catching uh, up with a friend when I catch you live. Hope you're doing great, Lau. I'm doing good. I'm doing good, Danny. I hope you're doing good. Thanks for catching the live. Happy to have you. Haley, thank you again for seven months. And official terror spooky said was watching some previous lives and you're here. I could feel it in the air. I could feel it in the energy. I was like, oh, there needs to be another live, clearly, that needs to go up right now. But, oh my god, thanks, Shy. Thanks, Shy. Shy says I look stunning. Slay. <laughs> I had on a full freaking face of makeup last night. Your skin is so glowy. Thank you. It's my sunscreen. It's the glow screen from um, Super Goop. Slay. But I had on a full face of makeup last night. It took me like five makeup wipes to get off. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Maybe it's because I don't have headphones in, but you're so quiet tonight, I think. My audio is totally normal. That's weird. Yeah, Casey, I don't think it went through, but hi. Oh, yeah, I acknowledge you. It was at the very beginning. I said thank you. <laughs> there it is. It's up at the very top. Thanks again. Where's your haunted doll? She's over on this side of the couch. Like, she's on a nightstand. Currently, I just have her there. I was keeping the couch open so that the um, the dogs could have a place to lay down, but then I closed them out for this stream. <laughs> I am really loving this update to my office, though. Tell the doggies I say hi. Doggie, she says hi. Little Miss No Name says hi. We will be watching any more Life of Luxury again soon. I'll probably take a little break just because I feel like I bombarded people. I feel like, I feel like I, like in the same week was like, welcome home, or welcome home. I was like, Life of Luxury stream and also Life of Luxury main channel video. And also I love Life of Luxury and you will watch it with me. <laughs> so I'm taking a little break, especially because I feel like with Halloween, there's so many things I actually want to talk about, like for tomorrow. I'm thinking we're going to watch um, the Greylock analog horror sh series. Was it Shy who told me about that? I don't know. I feel like someone maybe in chat told me about that the other day. And um, so we're going to talk about Greylock. I watched uh, I watched Wendigoon all the time, and I think that he reacted to Greylock. And then I was like, ooh, it actually does look spooky. So... Oh my god. 
I um, got this mug this year for my birthday from a friend of mine, and I broke one of the cute little udders on the bottom, so now it's a little rickety. Um, Super Geek 333, thanks for five months. I did not get the makeshift Wally plush, but it sounds very cute. Jessica Stanton, thanks for two months. Thanks, thanks. I love the hair too. Also, Christina, thank you so much for three months. I appreciate you. Don't forget to join the channel memberships if you were at all interested tonight or, I mean, anytime if, if you ever want to. But if you do, I always want to remind you, you have a members only section. So if you end up getting a membership just because of the live or like whatever, there's a whole members only tab with fun stuff, including a video that should be coming very, very shortly. My mug does match my hair. You're right, little Miss No Name. Slay. Undead cat and CA word I cannot say on stream. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Happy to have you. I haven't really seen any new movies. I'll be so honest. The only like new movie I've seen has been um, Talk to Me from A24, but I haven't seen like any new movies. But I have been watching a lot of Netflix recently. Um, and like I said, I've been watching The Fall of the House of Usher, which Mike Flanagan is like one of my favorite like just – People in the horror space, I love every single Mike Flanagan, like anything, like unpopular opinion, but one of my very favorite movies is Oculus. I feel like so many people are like, Oculus was not a good horror movie. I think Oculus was a great horror movie, and I think it was like very, very, very good. Um, so I will watch anything with Mike Flanagan's name on it, first and foremost. <laughs> but, oh my god, Elijah P., thank you so much for joining the channel memberships, and thank you for gifting five memberships to the community. That's so kind of you. Oh my god, and Holly got one. Wow. Wow. That's so slay. Oh my god, so slay. Thank you so much, Elijah. And also thank you to Shelby Gurney for joining the channel memberships. Welcome, welcome. If you guys got your memberships, don't forget to check out the members only tab with members only videos, members only stuff, including Halloween Horror Nights coming at you shortly. Um, I completely agree though, Rob, that Oculus is so underrated. I think it's one of my favorite horror movies. Um, so I've been watching Haunting of Hill House might be my favorite. I don't know. I don't know. Hey, Hecti. Thanks for modding tonight. Or just hanging out in general. We're so happy to have you. Um, But Haunting of Hill House was like really high up there for me. I loved Haunting of Bly Manor too, but like Haunting of Hill House was just very special to me. Um, I have a hard time watching it. I tried rewatching it over COVID and I've watched it a couple of times, but honestly it hits a little too hard sometimes like I've never cried more I feel like to a tv show um okay lots of oculus love in the chat love that oculus is a really good horror movie I'm just saying like I think that oculus is a great horror movie um so <laughs> yeah but he uses some of the same people from haunting of hill house he uses the same people all the time Mike Flanagan. again um but yeah, Fall of the House of Usher. It's really, really good so far. I'm very into it. Jessica Stanton, thanks for your super chat. Um, hey, I've been watching you for a long time and you're a really good therapist for me. <laughs> oh my God. Thank you so much. Also, could you play H1Z1? I've never heard of that. I'll Google it. It's a battle royale game? Oh my god. You must think very highly of my gaming skills. That You must think very highly of my gaming skills, Jessica. That looks so hard. Do you play that? <laughs> that game looks hard just based off of what it looks like. Also, Eli, thank you so much for your super chat. I love you so much. Thanks for your first ever super chat. Monica Lewinsky, thank you so much for five gifted memberships. You are the sweetest ever. I love you so much icon Monica Lewinsky um actually helped me in my brother's twitch chat after we streamed last 
Tell me why that stream got demonetized after the fact. Because of my brother's username. <laughs> and I can't say what it is because this stream will also get demonetized. But I was like, why did that stream get demonetized? None of my stuff ever gets demonetized. Like the McKamey Manor stuff didn't get demonetized. So I feel like, like, what was I doing when I was playing video games with my little brother that got demonetized and it was his username. But yeah, Monica helped me explain who Monica Lewinsky was to my brother on stream. It was very funny. I do just always hear Nicki Minaj going, Monica Lewinsky. <laughs> um, Neon Green, thanks for 12 months. Love you. Alicia Rose said, I love your month. Thank you very much. I like it too. My friend Grace got it for me for my birthday. And uh, thanks for 23 months, Alicia. Almost two years. That's so slay. Yeah, it was a username. H1Z1 is also a survival game. Ooh, it looks so, it looks so hard. <laughs> it comes up for me as Battle Royale. I guess Survivor game. That makes sense. That makes sense. Wow, it's an older game too. I didn't realize it had been out for so long. I'll add it to the repertoire. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll make it over there. I have such a list of games, but... I love games so that's fine the holy and faith the holy and trinity have i played it absolutely not have i watched uh wendigoon's four hour long um video documentary on it maybe maybe i have maybe i haven't watched the whole thing but i am very interested in that i think it's very interesting Oh my god, I feel like I need to, like, get my back cracked, but I'm also scared. I'm scared of, like, chiropractors. Oh, the username was spicy, all right. It was, it was really something. It was, uh, it was really something. Okay, let me pop you guys over here. Thanks, Ryan. I, too, feel as though the wig is wigging. Listen, I'm going to try to get better about telling you guys about my lip gloss, okay? I'm wearing the Dior Lip Glow Oil. I'm very into these. I'm very, very into these. I'd like to find a cheaper version of them to recommend um, because this is outrageously priced lip gloss. It's stupid, but they're so good. They're so good. And they're so glossy. Which is sly. Um, so I've been watching House, Fall of the House of Usher. And that's been fun. I've also been still playing Baldur's Gate, but I haven't really played it all since I talked to you guys last. I've been like playing like DVD <laughs> and stuff like Dead by Daylight. Um, and okay, okay, okay. Uh, Nico has some love for chiropractors in the chat. Yes, Shy did recommend or compare back cracking like a glow stick, I, which I think is helpful in some ways. I would love someone to, maybe this is TMI, I would really love it if our spines were removable and someone could just like slip it out of our bodies and just like clean in between everything. You know what I mean? I said this to somebody the other night and they were like, that's disgusting. And I was like, no, I don't, I, I think it's more about like the fact that my back always freaking hurts. It always hurts. Does anybody seem to ha be having trouble with super chats? You know, this has been a problem for a bit. Hold on. Because I know that I have a Streamlabs link and I can also get messages through there. Of course, do not feel like you need to to send anything ever. But um, this has been a thing for a while, I think. So let me... I don't remember how to log into this. Okay. Uh, 
Okay. Can I see these if they come through? I need to make sure before I put this down, I would need to make sure I know where to go to see it. You know what I mean? Okay, I would go here. I would go here. Okay. Let me... And then... Can I just add this to the bottom of the pin message? Oh, that's too much. Hmm. Well, I have the link there now. If you guys want to use it that way, if you have a message you want to send, but I'm sorry, like Super Chat doesn't seem to be working for people. This has been going on for a couple of streams too. I kind of assumed it would be fine eventually, um, like that it would just sort itself out, but alas. Let me see if that page even. Okay, cute. I think it works. No, Kylantis gets it. Literally take my spine out, realign it, stretch it out, and then give it back, please. So true. That's what I'm saying. Like, just like, just like you do what you want to do with it. Do whatever you want, actually. But just like clean it out and then put it back in. Like, I just need a little reset sometimes, you know? Monica Lewinsky testing. See, I think that most people don't have any, well, excuse me, I say most people, but I feel like so many people who end up super chatting and stuff are the same ones. Like they always like end up super chatting or whatever. Um, and it'll work for some people, but then not for others. I don't know why. So strange. But it's not like one or two. It's like multiple people. So Louie, what is it in your mug? Just some pumpkin spice latte. Like a little, I got it from uh, Ralph's this week, just like a Califia Farms pre-made pumpkin spice latte. It's very tasty. Sorry. Holly, how could you? Holly, you have a membership, did you know? Isn't that exciting? Jessica, uh, uh, oh my god, I can't talk. Jessica Stanton said, "Or you should play human fall flat or false uh, or fall guys, like fall guys." I've never played those kinds of games on stream. I'll definitely think about it. Thank you so much, Jessica. I appreciate it. Also, Amanda Sugar, I love you. You're looking drop dead gorgeous tonight. Also, welcome home. I'm in heaven. I love you so much, Amanda. Thank you so much. Eee, welcome, welcome. Happy to have you. Happy you're here. Oh, Amanda's here. Here, Amanda's home. Welcome home, Amanda. Oh my God. Ugh, I feel like I just need to like, I don't know. I probably need to go get a massage or something. Let's see. And if I'm able to get it, does it not come up automatically on my dashboard? Nope, it doesn't, which is kind of annoying. Okay, but I do see it. I do see it. Gremlin boy Kevin, thank you so much for your tip. It's testing and sending love. I do love you very, very much. Thank you, thank you. I do appreciate that. Weird that it doesn't, it doesn't even come up as like a, no, okay, okay. It does come up. It does come up. It's just in my mini feed. So if I... Take out 
that. Okay. I should be able to see you guys now uh, and, and all of your stuff from everywhere as it comes up still. But that's slay. At least we have another option if people want to super chat and can't. But thank you very much. It's never necessary. It is always so very appreciated. But um, what are you going to do with your hair next time? Another slay look coming. I'm getting purple streaks in my hair soon. Oh, my God. Cute, Val. Um, I'm actually going to leave my hair alone for a while. You know, I <laughs> something about two breakups in one year really had me going through it with my hair really 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 had me going through it um I started the year off this year off with blonde hair blonde long hair that I spent so much money getting to that degree of blonde slowly and it was just still so damaged um then I started playing with the color and then I chopped it off and now it's just like a black short bob and i'm kind of living for it and i kind of just want to give my hair a break and play with wigs again i think i'm just gonna play with wigs my hair went through it why are we talking about burgers oh oh amanda <laughs> soba or burger I kind of am voting for a burger tonight. And normally I think I'd vote for soba, but burger just sounds good. It just sounds really, really good. Thanks, guys. The wife keeps stopping for you. Wonder why. My elderly cat either hears your voice in videos or stream and always comes up to me to watch along. She's here now too. We both send you love. I love you guys, Kevin. I hope you guys are having a good time wherever in the world you are. <laughs> Give your kitty a little scotch scotch for me. Thanks again, Kevin. I appreciate that. Really, really going in for the team. Tested out the Streamlabs uh, donation link. <laughs> I guess we'll probably end up getting started relatively soon. Um, we've been live for about 40 minutes and I don't think I'll be live as late. I usually I try to go for three hours minimum and I don't know if we're going to make it to that tonight. Oh my goodness. Glowy, lowy, Kate. Have blue hair in high school, so play, babe, play. I do love playing with my hair. I really, really do. And honestly, it's been very liberating this year to take out all of my emotion on my hair. I just, like, what a fun way to cope. <laughs> like, just constantly changing my hair. Um, but I remembered why I don't do that anymore, and it's because of wigs. Like, it's hard. You know, I kind of gave up my wig girl era when I entered my lover girl era. Like... When I was all booed up, I was like, well, I don't want to wear wigs to sleep. And I was constantly changing my outfits or my outfits, constantly changing my hair. Um, so, you know, ended up changing it a lot. It happens. It really just happens. But <laughs> now I'm back to singlehood and it, it it's back to the wig life for me. Meow. Hi, baby. I didn't put the cats in their room tonight. I just closed off my office. Laura, thank you so much for your super chat. I really appreciate that. And thanks for your first ever super chat. That's really kind of you. Alrighty. I guess we will... Oh. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I have um I have an old scene on on this um screen. 
that I used to use for Twitch. Ren, your 10th super chat. Oh my God, thank you. I love you. Internet's cutting out, but glad I could make it. Loving the wig. Uh, by the way, you look stunning. Thank you, my angel. I love you so much. Happy stream. I'm glad you made it. I hope not everybody's streams are catching out or cutting out rather. I hope like, I hope it's a an isolated couple of in incidents where the internet's being funky and it's not actually me. Okay. Let's see if we can end up doing this. Music, we'll leave on till we start. The screen can come over here. There we go. And we'll leave that on and then we switch over. We'll do that. Okay. All right. Well, shall we talk? Let me double check that this um, selfie went up with the link. Oh, yeah, it did a while ago. Okay, perfect. Slay. Slay. Alrighty. Oh, oh my God. Before we start, I watched the McCamey Manor documentary as well, actually, um, which was crazy. It was so fresh off the heels of me talking about Uncle Ben's videos and like kind of everything that's been going on with McCamey Manor. Um, I want to like talk about it more, but I can't decide if I want it to be its own stream or maybe even its own video. I have a lot of thoughts, but I almost wish I had like taken notes. Like I, I don't feel like I did about Uncle Ben series where like I watched that and then I immediately had like all of these thoughts to come on here and just be like, and another thing, and another thing, and another thing. Like, I don't feel like that after the documentary. I feel like the documentary was pretty straightforward. It really, um, it did not paint McKamey Manor or Russ in a good light, which was what I initially, I guess, was afraid of. And there was really no reason for me to think that. Like, everyone I told that to was like, of course, it's not, like, going to be, like, in favor of McKamey Manor or whatever. But I don't know, like the way that it was worded in um, at one point during I called him Uncle Ben. I called him Uncle Ben. Reckless Ben. Why did I call him Uncle Ben? I think Uncle Ben is this YouTuber who runs a farm in Texas. I meant Reckless Ben if I called him Uncle Ben. Uncle Ben. <laughs> My uncle. <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah. Uh, Reckless Ben um, said in his series that at one point somebody from McKamey Manor was like, oh, like, we have this documentary coming out. We don't need this from you, whatever. And I was like, does that mean the documentary is going to be good? And it definitely it was good. It just was not in favor, of course, of of like McKamey Manor, which is good. Um, uh. Yeah, it was it was super interesting. It was cool to see Gabby in it, um, and cool to to hear her talk and uh, some of the other people that were in it. It it was just it was interesting to see some kind of familiar faces that I've known from around that that space. Um, you know, in in this documentary, uh, I think it did a really good job at explaining why. McKamey Manor specifically is so harmful. I think I think the documentary really it gets across with over over the course of the documentary, it really does get across that like Russ has ulterior motives. Like Russ McKamey has ulterior motives. The documentary is called The Monster Inside, I think. 
It's streaming now on Hulu if you want to watch it. Um, but it explains more about extreme haunts, why people choose them. Um, it really goes into that whole sector of like why psychologically we want to be scared and the kind of control um, that that it gives. Um, where, where was I going with this? I'm trying to to summarize without getting too graphic because honestly a lot of the shit in this documentary made me really 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 mad um just like a lot of footage i had never seen before because i like actively chose not to seek it out it was a hard watch it really was a hard watch especially towards the end um everybody who's in the documentary it's all real there are no reenactments like anything like that like it's all their actual footage from the tours and it just gets my fucking blood boiling um so I think it does a good job at showing why McKamey Manor is a problem. It does a good job at showing why extreme haunts are something that people want to experience. Um, and I think that overall it was an interesting watch. But I, I didn't walk away like, oh my god, there's like this <laughs> smoking gun. Like there's like now like this with Reckless Ben series. It's been just like jaw dropping information at every single turn. Like, Oh my God. Like this documentary was quite tame. Um, not tame in terms of what happened in it because it's still torture. It's still McKamey Manor. But like it it wasn't like all of like reveal after reveal after reveal after reveal. So, but I'll talk more about that. I can't decide what I want to do for McKamey Manor. Um, I was thinking initially when I talked about it in that one stream, like, oh, maybe I'll chop down that video and we'll have like McKamey Manor updates as like a main channel, you know, like a, regular post but now I kind of feel like there's even more I want to say and maybe like I'd like to rephrase some of what I said so I'm not sure what I want to do yet maybe we'll have like a full stream where I get into the nitty-gritty and watch it again and take notes and all that but I think it's worth the watch basically is what I was getting at this was all about mon the monster inside which is excuse me the new McKamey Manor documentary on Hulu. Okay. So. I <laughs> was just minding my business, scrolling through Instagram, when I realized I had gotten a DM from somebody with a simple message in all caps that simply said, Welcome Home Update. And I was like, oh, no way. Oh, no way. It must just be the last update. And they didn't realize I covered it. But oh, no, friends. There is a massive, well, not a massive, but there, <laughs> there's, there is a welcome home update. And I don't know how deep it goes. So I thought that we would explore it here on stream together. Maybe you guys can tell me some of the things that, um, you know, maybe I'm missing. And, oh my God, Mystic Messenger just came up. I haven't been on all day. I'm either going to choose V or Ray, but I don't know which one it'll be. <sighs> and I'm on day four. If you don't know what Mystic Messenger is, you're like, what? <laughs> like, sorry, my boyfriend just texted me. But, oh, he's not real, <laughs> by the way. He's he's from a phone game. Um. Okay. So do you guys want to see what it looks like? It's really, really, really cute. It's like really cute. Hey, Rick. Thanks so much for your super chat. Hi, I just came in. What did I miss? What are we doing today? Also, you're amazing. I love you. I love you, Rick. You made it just in time. We were talking about the McKamey Manor documentary for a little bit, and now we're jumping into welcome home update. So isn't it cute? Okay, wait, let me reload the page. So when you come to the home page now here is the loading screen like the the landing screen rather um you can see wally is in the most festive adorable little devil costume you've ever seen in your entire life and if you look behind him house has a hat like the home has a hat right behind wally home has a little witch's hat like she's so festive for the holiday i love her so much Ah, it's so cute. Um, so 
I don't know if this is new or not. I was hoping you guys could tell me. It's been a little while since I've been to the Welcome Home website. I mean, definitely since our last update for sure. So I don't know if this is new or not. I thought we could click on that after I read down here. So you can see like the, the landing screen, like the welcome home scene has been updated for Halloween. It's very, very cute. But if you scroll down under website updates, it says, boo, were you expecting us, dear neighbor? Halloween is one of our favorite holidays. And the why here is um lifted up. So maybe, maybe that's something. It could be part of a code or something. I don't know. I just assigned home a gender, but home I think is genderless. I called home a she, but I don't think that home is a she. Um, I literally just called called home a she. Um, I think because home is in this cute little witch's hat. Like, look at them. They're so cute. But anybody can be a witch. Anybody can be a witch. So Halloween is one of our favorite holidays. As bad luck would have it, and through our most recent successful recovery efforts, it turns out it was one of the welcome homes. Oh, wait. As bad luck would have it, and through our most recent successful recovery efforts, it turns out it was one of welcome homes, too. Please head on over to our news page for the full exploration and enjoy our few but wonderful findings. Have a happy Halloween! Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Home is so slay. So this is cute. And then you have Wally just sitting here in his little devil costume. He looks so handsome. He looks so cute. Is this house new? Is the house new? Oh, I've never seen Home... I've never seen home with a with any kind of pronouns or anything, but I apologize. I I I don't know. It was just go to the transcript page. There's a new bug. Let's start off here in news, actually, since it said on the main screen that there were some updates. Ghoulish greetings and happy hauntings. This month is undoubtedly filled with terrific tall tales, creepy costumes, and a plethora of delicious treats. Thankfully, ugh, sorry. Thankfully, we've uncovered a handful of items to keep you in just the right mood for this wonderfully eerie month. It's important to keep our spirits merry and bright after all, although maybe scary and fright might be more fitting. So what is in this most recent update to our archive? Well, we found an array of documents of what we believe to be cookbook pages. Instructions and photos have been restored surprisingly well, but only a few pages have been recovered. Our source has yet to send the full book. I don't understand why. What is it worth to leave it out? Ripping out pages? What a waste. It takes so long to get everything off of them. Still, we're patient, aren't we? If you are reading this, Please hurry. That's really interesting that the Welcome Home team is communicating with uh, the whoever is sending them this material like, OK, like we're patient. We clean up all of this stuff. If you don't know, every time that the Welcome Home restoration team, is that what they're really called? I don't know. It says, yeah, Welcome Home Restoration, restoration Project. The members of the restoration project, every single time that they get a shipment of welcome home memorabilia, they literally end up like having to clean like grime and all of this stuff off of it. So now they're saying like, why is this stuff incomplete? Like, where are these pages? Like, can, can we just can we just have them? Um, so <laughs> that's that's kind of weird that they're they're communicating through the news tab. Um, it also says treats are important for Halloween, of course, but what good are treats without a ghastly get up to enjoy them in? We've also uncovered a Halloween costume reminiscent, 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 reminiscent. Why is that a hard word? It's kind of a hard word. We have also uncovered a Halloween costume reminiscent of our favorite television sweetheart, Wally Darling. His smiling face and polyester attire was sure to have made Welcome Home fans the envy of other trick-or-treaters upon its release. 
We have also uncovered a delightful recording to get you ready for Halloween. A record titled Happy Hauntings to Boo and Yours has been recovered, albeit with a noticeable gap in the audio itself. Perhaps you can make it out while you enjoy Sally Starlet's macabre menagerie of monstrous mischief making. All of the items listed can be found on our merchandise page, so don't delay in heading over to look at our findings for yourself. Although we do not have much this time around, uh, that does not mean our efforts this time are any small feat, and we're happy to showcase some items for perfect for this spooky season. We wouldn't want you to forget Wally Darling and his neighborhood anyhow, would we? With that said, we are happy to inform you, dear neighbor, that we have placed all of our intention on something that we believe to be monumental in our search for Welcome Home's full restoration. What is it? I hear you pleading, clawing at your screens just as we have. <laughs> the Welcome Home restoration team really said, I hear y'all screaming. I hear you all shrieking, like, <laughs> um, coughing, headaches, nausea. I know, I know it will take a lot of cleaning, preparation and polishing on our part, but it is a worthwhile labor of love. Please stay tuned this holiday season for the most wonderful time of the year. Until then, have a happy Halloween. Don't forget to wave down below. Welcome home restoration project. Wasn't it? Isn't it usually don't forget to wave up high? They usually say don't forget to wave up high, but down here they said don't forget to wave down below. Maybe it's kind of like um like as above so below, like that sort of the the thought here. I don't know. I don't know. If you're not familiar with Welcome Home, for people who are asking, like, who's Sally? Like, what is this? Like, you might want to catch up with Welcome Home. I did this stream in hopes of just showing people who, like, are already familiar with it um, some updates. But essentially, this is, like, a story that's told about this, like, about lost media being found from this, like, old kid show. So if you're not familiar, I'd recommend looking into it a bit more. But OK, so it said a lot of this stuff is on merchandise. So let's head over to merchandise and see what we can find. And remember, if you're calling out eyes on the sides, if you're calling out like new stickers and stuff, we've already done one welcome home stream a while ago um, talking about a lot of this. <laughs> yes, Sally is Starlet. Sally is the sun. Sally is the sun. Yes, I should have explained that. But Welcome Home was very fun. The official Welcome Home cookbook. Did we did we look into this before? I don't think we did look into the Welcome Home. Yeah, this is the Halloween one. Okay. The official Welcome Home cookbook. Date unknown, publisher unknown. This piece of found material was an odd case. Rather than receive the entirety of the book in a damaged state, we were met instead with only a few comprehensible pages. We anticipate a potential recovery of what we believe to be an entire cookbook filled with recipes that Welcome Home fans could make for themselves. If you are out there, I promise we will wait patiently. Wow. So they're really hoping for more pages from this cookbook. This is the second time we're seeing stuff about it. So Halloween crafts, treats and more. And you can see we have the Welcome Home Restoration Project there. OK, so we have actual treats. Oh, my God. Wait, is anyone going to make these? That's kind of slay. So we have crispy, sweet, smiling treats, cupcakes with the most, caramel, apples, sweet apples. And then that's it. They did not get the rest of the, um, the, we can't go to that last page. Oh, no, we can. Okay, okay, okay. Oops. Um, they do not have the whole thing, though. So Interesting. I heard it. I thought I heard a pet. Good night, Ashley. Have a good rest of your night. <laughs> Lowy Lane cooking stream, but it's just me recreating all of the welcome home <laughs> treats. 
Honestly, that wouldn't be so bad. It really, really, really wouldn't be. Oh, Kylantis also. Sorry, I missed your super chat earlier. Look at our man in his costume. I could cry. Wally does look very han han Oh my god. Sorry. Handsome in the little devil costume. Also, Tomb Tum Nagachi, thanks so much for four months. Happy birthday if you're still here. I'm so sorry I missed that until now. Okay. So that's the cookbook. And then we have Happy Haunting to Boo and Yours, a storybook record. What's a better way to get in the mood for Halloween than with the neighbors of Welcome Home? Hear for yourself how they celebrate the spookiest day of the year with Sally Starlet's macabre menagerie of monstrous mischief making. Enjoy a gaggle of bone chilling tall tales through this newly uncovered storybook record. Wow, wait, this kind of looks like everything. I'm really excited to hear it. People in chat already saying it's so good. Okay. So the discovery of this vinyl has brought assurance of even more recorded stories akin to Eddie's big lift. However, this particular audio skips at 1656 and then quickly jumps past Sally's dialogue to 1851. Rip skips. Although the sound between those times is incomprehensible noise. We have transcribed what we could. It's a 19 minute audio. Oh, besties, we're going to be here a minute. That's crazy. I didn't realize. Okay, so all of the transcripts are here. I guess we'll just go ahead and listen. Oh, my God. I'm so immersed right now. I'm so immersed. today and every day after. But something about today is a little different. Our Sally Starlet might describe it as a spine-tingling, bone-chilling, and hair-raising sort of day. The sort of day her dear friend Poppy Partridge always dreaded, even as she helped prepare for the celebration. Yes, that's right. It was Sally's favorite holiday, the macabre menagerie of monstrous mischief-making. Taste. A monumental mouthful, if you ask me. But we've had our time talking. Let's peer into Poppy's window to hear about it for ourselves. Oh, I just can't believe it, Poppy. Darling, you've produced such a dazzling and decadent display. Thank you again for letting me use your... Uh, not so humble abode for my macabre menagerie of monstrous mischief making festivities. Sally carefully placed down the assorted treats on the table. Some even looked like our neighbors. They ought to make one for the narrator, though. Why, of course, dear. It's so lovely to help you with your, um, well, macabre. Uh, oh my. <laughs> my macabre menagerie of monstrous mischief making, Poppy. Uh, right. Does it have to be monstrous? Poppy, horror is the backbone of the macabre menagerie of monstrous mischief-making. It is integral to what makes thespians, such as myself, able to convey true terror on stage. Everyone in home simply must experience such a sensation for themselves. So today, everyone will be adorning elaborate ensembles outside of their repetitious apparel and become symbols of pure horror. Oh, but you're dressed as a clown. Sally was dressed like a clown. If everyone is going as something they are not, then I must do so in turn. A director does not leave her actors to fend for themselves. So I arrived as Pedrolino. Pedrolino for those... 
Oh, okay. Wait, yeah. I don't know what Pedrolino is. I'm I'm enthralled. This is amazing. Oh my God. I love it so much. I'm trying to like keep Sally up here so you guys can like see. So this is Sally uh, and then that's Poppy um, for anybody for anybody asking. Um, but again, I'm not going to be able to like go over every single character. So I recommend like maybe saving the stream for later if you're not super familiar with uh, Welcome Home. Um, Kylantis, sorry, I just saw that again. Zoe, thanks for four months. Happy Spooktober back at you. Alyssa Cerno, welcome to the channel membership. So happy to have you. Welcome, welcome, friend. Okay, I think I'm caught up again. Slay. A director does not leave her actors to fend for themselves. So I arrived as Pedrolino. Pedrolino, for those of you who don't know, is from the Commedia dell'arte. Pro, oh, please, do narrator. Of course they have. Of course. Poppy bristled her feather and sighed gently. <sighs> uh, I'm not quite sure I see the appeal, but... I suppose. Then look with your fantastic feathered soul, Poppy. There is more to understanding horror than sight alone. More than sight alone? <laughs> Why, of course. A foul stench, a chill running down your spine, mm. a sour taste in your mouth, an unexpected knock at your door. <laughs> oh, that must be our esteemed guest. I'll get it. As Poppy returned to fretting and fawning, Sally walked over to the front door to let in the guests. Who will it be? When she opened the door, it revealed, why, none other than our good friends Wally Darling and Barnaby B. Beagle. Wally! Wally was dressed in a devilish outfit, while Barnaby was dressed as... as a werewolf. That's where Beagle do, you, pal. Welcome, one and all. Oh, speak of the devil. Hi, Sally. I'm a little devil. We're here for the... the... um... We're here for terror and treats! Now where's the punchline start? D terror and <laughs> treats? What is that? That's not what my extravaganza is called! Oh yeah, the invitation said it was, uh, macaroni, macrame, marmalade mousse. Yeah, I ain't saying all of that. I think terror and treats is better. It's got a little genie sais quoi Th to it. That's je ne sais quoi. You, oh, you beast. That's Mr. Wear Beagle to you, too. Now, if you'll excuse me, I beast be getting a glass of punch. Come Barnaby has grown on me so much in no short part to these audios. I've always felt a little suspicious. Of Barnaby. I've always like side-eyed Barnaby a tiny bit, but oh my god, he's so cute. Wally's voice is adorable, dude. It's so cute. It's literally so cute. In the glass of punch. Come on, little devil. Okay. I like punch. Wally and Barnaby made their way around Sally, who scoffed angrily at Barnaby's joke. Uh. It wasn't long before another knock was heard at the door. When Sally opened it this time, she revealed Julie Joyful and Frank Frankly. Julie was dressed My as a besties. witch, and Frank was dressed as a vampire. But they also brought a third guest, a tomato encased in red gelatin. Ugh. Franklin Juliet. That's not my name. What a dashing couple you two make. Wonderfully witchy and vivaciously vampirific. Ghoulish greeting, Sally. <laughs> We're so excited to be at your magnificently marvelous, majestically mystifying, macabre menagerie of momentously monstrous mischief making celebration. Yes, and I've brought tomato gelatin. See, there's a whole one inside. Uh, so you have. How terribly frightful. Thank you. I like your clown costume, Sally. A uh, clown? It's Petrolino! Wiggly worms and giggly grins! Watch out, party goers! Frank and Julie's coming in! Hey! A witch and a guy with a cape brought more eats! I'm a vampire. The gelatin is for looks only, too. I better not see a bite taken out of it. Sally could only shake her head before one final set of knocks rang through the party. 
it was finally our friends Eddie Deer and Howdy Piller. Eddie looked quite oh, elaborate with his costume as Frankenstein's monster. Oh my god, sorry. I just got so excited. It's the whole gang. They're all here. Coming in. Hey, a witch and a guy with a cape brought more eats. I'm a vampire. The gelatin is for looks only, too. I better not see a bite taken out of it. Sally could only shake her head before one final set of knocks rang through the party. It was finally our friends Eddie Deer and Howdy Piller. Eddie looked quite elaborate with his costume as Frankenstein's monster, while Howdy... Howdy wore a bedsheet. And he looks handsome doing I it. I worked hard, too. He looks, and Howdy looks handsome doing it. And he looks handsome doing it, and I will hear none of this, narrator. Howdy wore a bedsheet. Presumably he's a ghost. I worked hard, too. You ever tried to use four scissors at once? Oh, please. <laughs> We're using the same ghost costume from last year, Howard Smith. I resent that implication. Last year's sheet was off-white. This year's is eggshell white. And look, wiggle room for the fellas. Oh, he's right. Of course. And what are you, mailman? What are you uh, supposed to be? <clears throat> uh, I I'm, you know, that book with a fella who got brought back from the dead by the scientist. Um, I, I work real hard on this. You know, he's got stitches, a, a deathly pallor, a bit of moral conundrum. Yes, yes, of course, mailman. Now come in, you two. We're just about to begin the festivities, and you're our last guest. Well, don't I feel special. Almost makes it worth closing the store early. Is that my favorite regular over there? Gangway! Oh, I like your Pedrolino costume, Sally. You know, just the other day, when it was real slow in the post office, I was doing some reading about the Commedia dell'arte, and I just think it's just... Oh, did Frank bring one of those fancy molds again? That's right, he did. Now, just come along inside. Oh, that Eddie could talk. Sally ushered him inside with the others before closing the door behind her. Everyone had made it just in time for the festivities and the scariest part of the day. It was time for the telling of terrific tall tales. <laughs> the neighbors gathered together in a circle on the floor, just as Sally announced story time with a flashlight in her hand. All right, all right, everyone. I certainly hope you've all brought your own terror-filled tall tales for tonight's macabre menagerie of monstrous mischief-making. Tall tales? <laughs> I only brought one of them, and it's right behind me. It looks more like a short tale to me, Barnaby. Oh, behave, you two. Now, would anyone like to go first? Oh, oh, me, 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 me. I've got a scary story that'll make your ears with fear. <laughs> Julie waved her hand up excitedly and... But... Was that thunder? It, it, it's a beautiful day outside. Of course, Juliet. The stage is all yours. Julie took the flashlight with a smile and stood before the other neighbors. Okay, the narrator getting spooked by the environment is actually like so... That kind of got me for a second. This is the silliest, cutest audio in the entire world and I'm so happy. That's all, actually. I'm just so happy. Putting on her spookiest voice. It was a dark and blistery night. Or maybe it was a really nice and sunny day. I can't remember. <laughs> it was rainy in the morning and sunny in the afternoon. Who's keeping track anyways? You're keeping track. You're telling the story. Oh, that's right. Anyways, and on that beautiful, horrifying, dark, sunny... Day night, a squirrel walked by and ah! Julie let out a scream. It only scared Eddie, though. What was that? I told you, it's scary and spooky. It's my scary, spooky story. <laughs> oh my God. Juliet, that, that's hardly a... And then the squirrel leaned over and he saw... Ah! <laughs> Julie let out another scream. Oh, Eddie. All right, all right, I'm putting a stop to this. Terrifying trick. Well, I, I don't know. I thought it was pretty darn scary, if you ask me. I mean, we don't even know what that squirrel was up to. <laughs> I don't like it. Hey, 
I'm not sure if it's bone chilling, but I've got one that'll tickle your funny bones for sure. No! Now you listen here. But it was too late. Barnaby took the flashlight from Julie's hands and held it up to his muzzle like he was holding a microphone. So, what did a vampire, a zombie, and a ghost say when they walked into a bar? They said, ouch! Except for the ghost. He says it went right to him! <laughs> <laughs> That I is not Wally. a tall I'm sorry, but I love Wally so much. Sally Starlet is so me. Not Sally, sorry. Julie is so me. I do love Sally Starlet. I love her so much, but Julie is so me. Julie is so me. I love her. Huh? Huh? That is not a tall tale. In fact, it was incredibly short. That's what I said. Bon, you know I like her style, but I think everyone is bone tired of the stand-up. So maybe you ought to sit down and give Howdy a crack at it. I've got a real antenna shaker for ya. <sighs> Finally, someone with a tall tale worth trembling over. <laughs> I'm not sure about this one. You all better believe it, Sal. So there I was, at the counter of Howdy's place, the home of everything you need and everything you don't, by the way. Just minding the shop, wiping down the counters as I do, admiring the array of wonderful products that you too can purchase and enjoy. I think we ought to save the advertisements for television, Howdy. You don't know what you're missing. Ahem. Anyways, out of the corner of my eye, there I saw it. A terrifyingly good deal, left unpurchased, sitting on my shelf. Taking up valuable real estate. <gasps> oh, my stars. <laughs> Not an inefficient use of shelf space. <laughs> Don't I know it? But it had been there for weeks. I'm moving, lowering in value, lowering in price. It had to be clearanced. First 10%, then 20%, 30, 40, 50, 60, until finally it happened. <gasps> No. That's right. Not 75. Not 85. Not even 95. This must have item was marked down 100%. No. <laughs> you can't be serious. As serious as a heart attack. I was practically giving it away. But what was the buy of the century left unbought? I'm dying to know. It was the fairy sheet I'm wearing! Oh! I knew it! Available now for only... For only a hundred percent off! Barnaby <laughs> patted Howdy on the back as the counter sheared high into his shoulders. Maybe these stories are starting to get scary. Sally, may I tell a story? Oh, Oliver, go right ahead. Oliver? Did she just call him Oliver? These stories are starting to get scary. Sally, may I tell a story? Oh, Oliver, go right ahead. I suppose I don't see the harm, seeing how everyone else's stories have been, uh, lacking. Okay, I'm going to tell my story now. Wally stood up in front of the rest of the neighbors as Julie had, and a hush fell over everyone. He held the flashlight, but it, it, it... It's upside down. Barnaby, could you turn that right... Oh, okay, thank you. Wally held the flashlight under his face as he began his terrifying tale. Yesterday, I went on a walk. I saw a kite stuck inside of a tree. When I kept walking, I saw Barnaby... He was practicing his ball balancing tricks. Then I saw 
Eddie delivering the mail to Poppy's house. Oh, I almost forgot. I also saw a bug sitting on a leaf. It reminded me of Frank. After that, I turned around and went home. Wow. And what part of that story is supposed to be scary? Oh, I don't know if it was scary. I had a nice day. Oh, well, I liked the part in your story about the bug, Lolly. Thank you, Frank. Oh, that was it! A quiet fell over the neighbors once more, but this time to watch Sally fume! She was shining brightly, getting more frustrated by the second as she tried to collect herself. Must I really show you all what the true meaning of terror is? The macabre menagerie of monstrous mischief-making is all about thrills and chills, and the fear of what goes bump in the night. Oh, that might have been me. It was time for my bedtime snack. Oh. You'll all be quivering with fright at my tall tale. Sally snatched the flashlight out of Wally's hands and aimed it underneath her face. I'm so excited to hear Sally's tale, especially now that she's so um, rattled from these bad horror stories. Also, Monica Lewinsky said Wally is so precious I cannot deal. Every time that he talks, I just, my skin wants to like crawl off of my body, but in the best way. Like, I just, I love him so much. He makes me want to... I just want to hug him. I just want to hug his cute little baby face. He's so adorable. I love him so much. Also, Mrs. Scarlet, Ak uh, oh, sorry, Akatsuki. Thank you so much for 26 months, Sally's frustration is the real scare here. Sally, honestly, I kind of get her because she really just wanted a spooky story night and nobody has spooky stories to share. I don't know. I, I kind of get it. Everyone leaned in close to hear. Have you ever wondered why it is we stay indoors every night? To get a beauty rest. So we sing each other good night on the phone before bed? Oh, so we can sort our stamps. What? No, sometimes. And, and no. <laughs> it's because this town is rumored to have visitors at night. Something from deep within the forest, far beyond the hills and mountains. No one knows what it wants or where it's going. Just that it is persistent. Just that it arrives here. So many stories have risen about their origins. But I know what it is searching for. 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 Searching, 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 it is looking for neighbors who have stayed out past the daytime to gobble them up whole. That is why so few live here. It moves through the streets at night, but it doesn't break into homes. However, on rare instances, it will find itself with an appetite left unsatisfied by its aimless wandering. Even the occasional unfortunate insect that has crossed its path is not enough. Those who have lived through the night say it isn't quiet about it either. They always say you can hear when it gets closer to you. Do you know what sound it makes? Uh-uh. I hear it every night. You can hear it too if you listen. Especially if you wait next to your window. First, there's rustling in the bushes. Then, the scratching on the pavement the walls as it crawls up. Finally, if you're quiet, you can hear its guttural sound. I have prints ready! Jump up too! Now that was scary! 
Just like that, the macabre menage, uh, terror and treat nights was a success for Sally and the neighbors of home. Who knew Poppy dressed as a pumpkin with a platter of caramel apples was the scariest part of the night? Oh, certainly not me. Oh, would you care for an apple, dear? Oh, yes, thank you. To all of you out there on this terror and treats night, eat plenty, be merry. And be careful. Oh my god! You never know what will come rustling and scratching into the night. Happy haunting! And don't forget to wave up high. <laughs> I love the narrator. Go off. That was really good. That was really, really, really good. That was so good. I want to see what it transcribed that sound at the end to. I have a hair, sorry, right in my eye. I'm trying to get. Wally really went, ah. Oh, and there's the bug. Oh, there's the hair. It's like actual dog hair that was on my lash. Okay, wait, so what did it say at the very end? <laughs> Poppy announces herself loudly, I have treats ready, Wally goes, ah. Sally's audible is audio. Wait, okay, so many stories, but I know what this what it is searching for. Sally's audio is inaudible. If listeners can make out the audio, please help to decipher it with your fellow fans. Okay, all right. So what is waiting for us here in the little in the new bug? It says listen at the top of the page. So I'm assuming we have another. Oh, this looks like like Halloween treats. I get my antennas, Julie. A pumpkin as big as a house seems a little far-fetched, don't you think? Oh, Julie, it was hardly as big as a house. It was closer to the size of a refrigerator, if you ask me. Well, that's just not true. My brother Jonesy saw it himself, with his own... I forget how many eyes he has. At least two. Maybe three? No, no, two. Well, whether it's fact or fiction, it certainly makes one swell store sale. That's for sure. I can't even imagine how much a puppy that size would sell for. Did somebody say puppy? Well, I am young at heart. No, 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 no. Fit, you're not going anywhere. We haven't even gotten into the cultural importance of Commedia dell'arte. Oh, Shelly, you're killing me. So much Gavin just to explain why you're dressed like a clown. Come to think of it, I should have known earlier. You do look a bit funny to me. Oh, Barnaby. She's much more complex than that. She's a... Uh, forget his word. Uh, a Pinocchio. Or was it Pistachio? Uh, I think you might be thinking of Pedrolino. Pedrolino. See? Even the mailman gets it. Of course I do. Wait, is that supposed to be an insult? Oh, yes. That theater play. Sally, you check on my little apple. And I don't mean Wally. But you know what? I also mean Wally. Hey, how's my little devil doing over here? You guarding my apple for me, pal? Hmm. Oh. <laughs> eh, I guess you didn't do a very good job at it. Hey! Who took a bite out of my apple? I think I see fang marks, Frank. These fangs aren't real and you 
You know that. <laughs> sure, sure. That's what they all say. Don't worry, though, kid. There's plenty of other eats here. What are you feeling hungry for, Wally? So all of these videos that we've been seeing on the bug so far have all been basically through Wally's like POV, or at least that's what we assume, because it's like always somebody staring straight forward. And I think that like it's supposed to suggest that Wally is conscious of what's going on around him. Like when when people are talking or excuse me. When people are talking or were like, yeah, when like conversations are being had, whatever, Wally is present for them, but he's always kind of spacing out. And I saw actually on Twitter that they confirmed in, in this update that Wally eats with his eyes. It's like been like a running joke that he eats by blinking, like he eats with his eyes. So I think that that's what that was trying to suggest the whole time was that he was eating the apple, which is so cute. I cannot. I'm so, <laughs> I love him so much. It's so cute. So I, I honestly, that was really, really, really interesting. So we had the one bug that was new here and maybe that's it. Maybe that is the update because I don't think there's anything new on like other tabs or anything like that. Like, I think it was just the, the, and I say just like, we just went through like 40 minutes of content. Like this is a huge update, but I think that that might be all. I don't know. But why would he steal it? I don't think he was stealing it. Thought, I think he was just a little hungry. Want a little chumpy chump. Shadowflower16. Loey, I'm so happy to finally catch a stream. I've been struggling to find work lately. And this is such a pick me up. Thank you, love and light. Sending love and light right back to you, friend. And sending you the best. Fingers crossed that something will come through soon. I know it will for you. Um, also, Gigi said, my love, my love. You look stunning as always. Slay, so never stop smiling. Thanks for letting me share a spooky season with you. Love you so much. I love you more, Gigi, my angel. But I think... I don't know. You guys let me know in the comments. Like, was there anything else to this? Was that all? Pulling out wig hairs. It's annoying me. The eyes are keeping me out. Yeah, the eyes on this most recent, uh, well, the update before this, are, are real spooky. Oh, yeah, we can't write in the guest book anymore. I forgot. Wally Darling costume. Oh, did we see this? Oh my god, I forgot about the official Wally Darling Halloween costume. How could I possibly forget? How could I possibly forget? Uh, date unknown, manufacturer unknown. Wow, what an incredible cost. Wow, that's really impressive. That's so crazy. It really does just look like a Halloween costume. Little Wally. Oh my God. Imagining little Wally is running around like, oh my God, my heart. The best part about Halloween is dressing up as your favorite character. With the official Wally Darling costume, children could do just that. This outfit was sure to make any child the envy of their friends while also staying within their parents' budget just in time for the scariest season of the year. The fully ventilated Wally Darling mask ensured children could adorn Wally's signature smile through their trick-or-treating efforts while the polyester clothing announced their love for welcome home. The costume did not come in its original packaging, so we are unsure if there are additional characters made into costumes. Imagine your being your favorite merry mailman, the resident grump, or the happiest hound in town. Here's to hoping more will be recovered in the future. Oh my god, I'm dead. That's so cute. I'm sick. Okay, and I think that might be it. That might be it. <laughs> that might have been the final thing. Because let's go back to the news. So... <laughs> I don't know why I'm so stuffy. So 
So the record titled Happy Haunting Cebu and Yours, we've listened to, of course. And then the recipe book. We also saw Wally's cute little outfit. I think that was it. I think that was the welcome home update. I'm going to see if anybody says that there's like anything else new, but I think we've gone through everything else that's on the website. I just clicked that bug for fun. So my brother Charlie tells my uh -huh. sister Dolly that our brother Barley's cousin Henry is turning over a new leaf. But if you ask me, Bon, a caterpillar is always turning over leaves. We just call it a salad. So you don't believe the poor guy? Sounds like you're just giving him the short end of the stick. Short end of the... We've given that clown the whole branch. So he's a clown too? Now you're speaking my language, Audi. <laughs> you wouldn't believe what happened next. My brother Chuck wished our brother Buck good luck on getting that clock Henry to straighten up and fly right. Fly? Wait, wait, wait. He's a butterfly. I thought he was a caterpillar. <laughs> You're being a wise guy, Bon, but I'm serious. Then you're not going to believe this. Out of the blue comes our sister Sue and her brother Drew, talking to my sister Dolly about getting Henry on a trolley to see Aunt Molly. Wooly ain't Molly. Wooly Aunt Molly, Bon. On my father's left-hand side. My left, not yours. Maybe my upper left-hand side. Oh, well, how could I get that confused? But long story short, Molly tells Henry to listen to our cousin Barley and my brother Charlie, who insists they're through with my sister Sue and her brother Drew, and to get back on that trolley and talk to Dolly about getting his act together. Oh, brother. Wow. No, no. Dolly's my sister. <laughs> I know I can always talk to you, Bon. I tell you, having a big family ain't easy. Too many things to keep track of. You're right about that. I'm just listening in and I can barely keep track. The only family I gotta keep track of is my dear sweet mama. That's right. You know, next time she comes around, you ought to let me serve her one of my strawberry soda pops. Nobody makes them like you do, pal. Uh, speaking of which, how's that drink treating you? I love Ollie so much. I love that half of these videos are just him staring at food. So I think that was the welcome home update. I don't think that there's anything else to look at. I don't even think that that was a new video. I think I've watched it before. I just clicked on the bug when it came up. Um, there's like no new stuff anywhere else. Unless there's like anything new in the neighborhood. I don't think so. I don't think there's anything new in the neighborhood. If you just came in midstream, we were just doing a welcome home update, but we're, I think we're done. I think we're finished. I don't think there's anything new. But that was so fun. That was so, so, so fun. Um, I really enjoyed this though. I don't know if I want to do anything else. I guess we can play something. But really quickly, I absolutely loved the spooky update for Welcome Home. That was so freaking cute. I truly, just like my heart, it's crazy how adorable and like how fun Welcome Home is because it makes the scares so much more intense. Like the moments that like, that I don't know, like, it just, it, the, the moments where scary things actually happen, I'm so taken aback, you know? <laughs> Hi, Pluto. Hi, Fromi. Faith the Unholy Trinity. I cannot start playing Faith the Un Unholy Trinity tonight. That is a massive game. We already looked at the new Halloween bug. We already, yeah, we've looked at the new Halloween bug. We looked at all of the Halloween stuff. I think we, if you just came in, I'm pretty sure that we're we're good on on the Halloween -y stuff. Um, <laughs> yeah, Romy, you're getting the chat all excited. Um, 
But yeah, I thought the Halloween update was super, super cute. I'm excited to see, since they've kind of teased it, what's going to happen for Christmas now. It's absolutely the cutest stuff I've ever seen in my life, though. So yay, welcome home update. Loved it. That was slay. All right, I'm going to play you guys some music, so I'm probably going to take a break as well. Um, Because I've been live for about two hours. I definitely want to. Take a sack. My back also hurts. So I, I don't know what I want to do. I don't know what I want to do. I'm going to let the dogs out, see where they're at, and then um, go to the bathroom and stuff myself. And then I will end up popping back in with you guys. Let's see. I'll play this one that reminds me of um, Killer Frequency. One of the best games ever. Alrighty, I'm gonna put you guys on a be right back. I'm gonna take a break because we've been live for about two hours. Um, if you are also gonna take a break with me, I do ask that you get up, stretch around a little bit, maybe drink some water, get yourself a snack if you need one, take your meds if you haven't today. Um, but yeah, take care of yourselves. I know that uh, sometimes we don't, we, there's no URL codes. What? <laughs> like with welcome home? Not that I've seen. I mean, there, there, there might be, but not from what I was seeing from the Reddit and stuff. Like, I kind of checked to see, like, what was new. Um, but I, I don't think there were any new codes or anything like that. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to take a little breather, and then I will be back with you guys. It might be a longer break than I usually take, just because I was live for a bit. Um, but, yeah. All right. I'll see you guys in a bit.
Okay, hello. Uh, Beetle Flyer? Beetle Flyer? <laughs> Thanks so much for joining the channel memberships. Uh, who is ready for Halloween, everybody? Me, 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 me. I'm ready. I'm ready. How do I get that to, okay, like that. Hello, besties. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <gasps> oh my God, excuse me. Thank you so much for the super chat, Daisy. Thanks for your first ever super chat. I appreciate that. It's very kind of you. Let's see. Did I miss anything? The first two hours of the stream, but that was really where we did the welcome home um, portion of it. We'll probably play something now. But I don't know what. I don't know what I want to play. I really, really don't. I think the Mortuary Assistant might have had a bit of like a Halloween skin put on it. It looks like an update is cued. Ooh, added a new body for Halloween. Maybe we'll play the Mortuary Assistant. What's going on with Poppy Playtime? Why is there an update for that? What is the update, Poppy Playtime? Also, I don't know why I paused the music, because I'm going to need a few more minutes <laughs> before I get started. Don't worry, Ash. You can always watch it back. Um, but yeah, we, we went through the Welcome Home update on stream, and it was really, really cute, honestly. I was like, I was like thriving. Absolutely thriving. I think um, at the end, I wasn't sure if I had missed anything or like anything like that, but... Yeah, it was honestly so cute. I loved it. Ashby, Baldur's Gate is not a quick game, and I'm probably not going to stream too much longer, unfortunately. Like, we wouldn't even get through the character customization screen before I would be able to um, even do anything. Oh my god, the exhaustion did hit out of absolutely nowhere. It's been a long day. I have these tiny little things of water. I accidentally ordered them. Well, I didn't accidentally order them. I was given them instead of like normal size water bottles that I ordered, so. Yeah, I think we're going to do the Mortuary Assistant. I'm just waiting on the... Um... Oh, it's already done. Okay. Oh my god, Slay! Love Baldur's Gate 3. I haven't played in a few days. I really do want to play on stream. I just, it, it will take me so long even to get started with the game because I'm going to be so ridiculous about, um, I'm, I'm just going to be so ridiculous about it and about Gale of Waterdeep probably, or maybe Carlac. I really don't know which one, uh, but I know that I will be a crazy person. So <laughs> I feel like I need to like prepare Okay. So I went ahead and I decided we play Mortuary Assistant because apparently there's some kind of like Halloween update, which I think is kind of slay. Warning, what you are about to experience is based on real paranormal events. Research of the occult has showed. You guys remember when I talked about this in one of my, um, I guess in my last video playing this game and everyone was like, wait, what? This game can haunt you in real life? It literally tells you. 
I feel like I didn't get this the last time I opened it, but it says the game can haunt you. Shift three. All right. Man, it's been a minute. Okay, so where I messed up the last time that we played Mortuary Assistant was that I did not put the sigils in the right place. And I feel so stupid because I definitely had all the sigils. Like I had all of the information I needed, but it, I just did not have them in the right place. So I will not make that mistake again this time. I'm moving my light so that I can see better. Oh, moved my light and then it jumped. Spooky, scary. There we go. Thank you so much for the super chat, Kylantis. Let's go. Uh, wait, real events? Uh-huh. I said it can haunt you, IRL. <laughs> I mean, but maybe it can, maybe it can't. Um, but Jess is also like, it could haunt you IRL. I know, I know. Could it just be a little warning at the start of the game to make you go, oh no game, don't haunt me, teehee. Don't haunt me game. Or can the game really haunt you? Viewer discretion is advised. Watch at your own risk. Also, Ash said not the haunted games. The haunted games, our baby. All right. Listen to the mods, you guys. If not listening to the mods, we'll have you timed out in chat. They are just trying to keep you all safe. Also, how's the audio? Is that okay for like where the music is at and stuff? Are we good? All right. Mortuary Assistant has a Halloween update, baby. We got to see what it's all about. I'm actually very excited. Apparently, there's a new body. I think there's like cool decor inside of the funeral home. I think it'll be kind of slay. A, a slay. A slay shift. Audio's fine. Good. Alright, cool. Alright, in we go, baby. Ooh. Oh my god, I forget you start inside of your apartment. Um, okay, so during the last round of the more oh my god, my sensitivity is up so high. Um, during the last time that we played this game. Is that grandma? I thought it was grandma. I recognize her from the uh tutorial. There's like this scene where you can give yourself something, like a version of yourself that's just like hanging there, um, hanging out. And I don't know, I think that you can give her something and I thought that you might be able to find it in the apartment, but I don't know. I think you're able to give like one of your sobriety coins if I'm not mistaken. Know what I'm talking about? I'm gonna leave. Got it. Yeah, I'll Google. Look inside Rebecca's clothes drawers for this coin. All right. So it's inside of a book, apparently. So those were those closed drawers. Can't kneel down or anything. I don't see anything in there. Is 
Is that it? <gasps> Found it! Okay, so we have... Love you, Dad. Dad's necklace, the 10-year coin, and then the 5-year coin. Okay, so now we have that. Just in case that that comes up again. Which, last time we played this game, we had so much activity happen. Like, two shades. Yeah, and this is... Thank you. We had so many events happen the last time we played this game. It was crazy. Oh my god. Slay! We're back at the mortuary. It looks so cool for Halloween! Oh my god! Look at the decorations! Oh wow, they really cleaned the place up. <laughs> They're in the most festive spirit. Oh my god, I love it. Should we leave on the creepy music? Oh, I should close the door. I mean, not that it's not about to get closed for me anyway, but. Raymond, I know you said not to decorate for Halloween, but you need a little fun in your life. I did it anyway, and you're going to just have to deal with it. Zoe. Zoe's so real, and I do love Zoe, and Zoe should have anything she wants. Oh, wow. She really decorated in here. It looks so cute. Oh, I love it. Look, there's like candy. Wow, are any trick-or-treaters coming to the mortuary is my question. Oh my god, I saw myself in the mirror and scared myself. Alright. Did I take the math box? I did, I guess. Alright, I'm gonna have to turn that off while we get to work. Because it'll distract me. Oh wow, it's so cute in here! Why is this drawer highlighted? It's never highlighted. Oh. Oh, because all that stuff is in here. Okay. All right. I guess we'll just get to work. But is Raymond even pounded on the door or anything yet? I don't think he has. I feel like usually when I start, he like locks the place down, but maybe he doesn't do that if you don't do the tutorial. I guess I've really never played this game without the tutorial. All right, so we have Randall, Carmelo, and this lady. Oh, I forgot the gurney, oops, all right. I absolutely love what Zoe has done with the place. It's so cute. If I use the phone, does Raymond call me? Oh, I can't use the phone. All right, well. Oh my God, I just, Zoe has done such a good job with the place. It's so freaking adorable. All right. At least I can keep track of things. So I have the clipboard. Excuse me? All right. Do I see anything on there? Not so far. Oh, she has some stuff back here. The laughing as soon as we start the game with her is not very good, potentially, but we'll see, we'll see. To be determined. Something on her face. We already marked those. Didn't really look at her arms at all. Okay, we're good there. I'll look at our other one on this side. I know there's something on the back of her neck, but maybe it's the other side. Oh, there yeah, we go. Here. 
Oh, there was nothing on the other hand? Okay. Well, that's good. I mean, thanks for letting me know. Oh, one sec. I'm like, my phone cord is right in my way. Let me just charge right over here. Cool. All right. So now we need to log. So Should we answer this? Hello? Hello. Rebecca? Rebecca? What the? Was that her calling herself? That's so scary. I feel like I need, um... Do I need the the notepad maybe? So I can scribble? I think I might. I think I got it. Yeah, it's out here. Alright. Alright. So now we can go log. Alright, name. I don't even know how you say that name. Carnesita? She's 76 years old. On her head, she has blemishes. On the left shoulder, nothing. Right shoulder, that. Hid. I don't know how you say that. But left leg is going to be uh, that word as well. Sometimes this system is a little... Oh, oh, it won't let me put it in if it's wrong. That's funny. I was pressing right leg, not left leg. All right, cute. So we've already done that. We've got this. We can go file the embalming report and then get to work embalming. All right, put that away, and now we can get to work. All righty. So, where is my clipboard with my tasks? Clipboard. All right, so we need to wire the jaw shut with, hold on, sorry. Wire the jaw shut with the needle injector and the setting needles. All right. Things are always in a different spot. Every... Oh God. Storms are brewing out there. No, I thought I saw setting needles. Oh, are they right here? Why are they just out? And then where are the needles? Where's our eye caps? Oh, are those the setting needles? I guess they are. All right, well. No crazy activity with this body so far, I guess, outside of the woman randomly crying. Oh my god. There we go. All right. And then uh, next we will insert the eye caps. I, think I just saw eye caps somewhere. I keep seeing the stickers. And all of the little wall things, and I'm like, oh my god, somebody is there. <laughs> like, I just keep getting so scared. Maybe I should have figured out where everything was before I just got started, but... Where are the eye caps? Are those them? Oh, I guess they are. Nothing is really put away right now. Whoever had the shift before me, like really screwed the place up. I don't know. All right. No crazy activity with this body. So now we need to... Okay. No, that's fine. That's, uh, that's fine. All right. No, nothing on the scribble so far. I think we can put that in, put that in, I don't 
need that, don't need that. Who are you? You'll get your day in the sun. Don't you worry, I got an eye on you, buddy. Carmelo. All right, I'm turning this audio down actually because I'm a little, I'm a little spooked. All right, formaldehyde, and then humectant, and of course the reagent. In case this is indeed the body. Nothing all we have. That one we have, where's the humectant? Hello? Where's the humectant? Okay. Should I have found all this stuff before I got started? Maybe, oh, it's up here, okay. All right, so we have that. And then we need to get the reagent, just in case this is the body. But I have a sneaking suspicion this is not the body. All right, and now I need to make an incision with the scalpel. Okay. Don't need that. Do need a scalpel, but also I'm a little concerned that the scalpels are not apparently like appropriately put away. Okay, we have the scalpel and then we need the forceps and the tubing actually. Where is this tubing? Should I find it in a minute? Maybe. Well, what do I do with you? Do I have to do it from this side? I can't do anything with it. Oh, do I need the tubing? What is going on? Okay. Make the incision. I can't use that here. What? Oh, I have to do it up here. Oh. I'm missing something. So artery forceps, then the tubing. Then I'm gonna do. Oh God! I'm gonna turn you guys off. Oh, sorry. Oh. I think my game just crashed. I can't do anything, I'm like stuck. It thinks my clipboard is out, but it's not. Oh my God. Jesus. Oh, there we go, okay. That was actually scarier than anything I've ever seen in my life. the incision and now I need to go get the cleaning agent I need to get the empty reservoir bag oh my god oh my god right um that was kind of what i was thinking the whole time as well actually i can't use that here 
I can't use that here. I can't hold anything else. Wait, was I not supposed to take that? I can't use that here. Well, how the hell do I drop things? Oh, with cavity fluid. And then... I'm missing something. The trocar, which is like... some little something or other. Is that this? No, that's a needle injector. Which I didn't need, but I don't know where the trocars are. Because those are forceps, that's that. How the hell do you find the trocars? I know what it looks like. I feel like I'm taking way too long. Oh, there we go. Cool. Hi, Sadek. I hope your party is good. Love you. We're playing um, the Mortuary Assistant, and I'm scared. I'm there we spooked. Go. Okay, and then mix cleaners in the bathroom closet. Okay. I like to just run every time that I have to leave anywhere. It makes me feel safer for some reason. I just run like crazy. Okay, and then that's gonna have to run. And in the meantime, I guess we could go ahead and do moisturizer, which is right here. Can we do that yet? No, I guess not. We have to let that finish, and then that. Um, I guess in the interim, we could be taking letting strips. I, we haven't really done that yet and probably should before oh my god please put the clipboard away i can't use that here how do we oh that's right okay so you walk around with it and it'll start smoking we're in the right spot is it? <laughs> oh, it's right here. Okay. Okay. I'm going to take pictures of these sigils as I go, okay? <laughs> so that we don't forget them. All right. So we have that one. I guess now we can do moisturizer and return the body to cold storage. Do we have to press down when we do this? Yeah, I guess we do. Right. Her body wasn't particularly creepy, I guess. Oh, yeah. Yes. his name here oh I could not apologize more for being so deeply inconsiderate that I could not put a little respect on your name my darling darling patient Carmelo Briggs. Oh, you and I are going to have such a wonderful time together, Carmelo. 
Oh, wow. You just... What unfortunate circumstances took you away from us so soon. All right, it's actually starting to move pretty quickly. So we have the... Uh, I guess we need... Uh, our setting needle. We don't need a scalpel. I don't know why I picked that up. We need a setting needle. I already have one of those. I have a needle injector, and then the needles are over here. So we'll start off there. It does feel wrong to be stitching up this man's mouth. I'm having a hard time selecting. A oh, that's right. I can't get started until I mark everything down. What am I doing? I haven't even examined his perfect little body yet. Oh my god, I was just ready to embalm him and make him perfect. Wow. I was moving quick. All right, we did that. Nothing crazy here. Nothing really on the torso. Maybe on the other side of the torso? I don't know. Wow, man. Are you just creepy because you're a clown? Or are you... Oh, my God. There we go. <laughs> Screwed up his head while I was at it. Um, oh. Hey. How's it... Okay. Well, you... J All right. All right. Th that's fine. Okay. All right, then. Entry two. We'll do Carmelo. He's 29. He's got some stuff going on, but he's still the perfect, perfect man. If you ask me, of course. Okay, is that everything? I can file that. And I can get started. All right, we'll take that. Ready, and now we can get started on you. There we go. Wow, what a smile. No eye caps. All right. And then now it's time to mix together everything for the embalming fluid. That's not it. Oh, did I already put that in? How do I... Drop. I think the humectant was like over here somewhere. Or maldehyde was the other, which might be this. And then the reagent, of course. No. Here now. No. No. I'm moving so slowly. Let me get back to work. Becca, come here. I need to get to work, Raymond. Or is this my dad? Oh. Mom. Oh, Mom. I really, um, don't love this cutscene. You stupid bitch. Hate me all you want. He's dead because of you. You should be the one here. Lightless. Worthless. You waste all this <laughs> no. Okay. Well, 
Well, I have work to do, so maybe you guys leave me alone, actually. Alright, so a scalpel. I think I have a scalpel. Do you have a scalpel? No, I need the forceps and the tubing. Where's this tubing? Am I going crazy, crazy? I'm starting to really go insane, style. Thanks so much for joining the channel memberships, Lisa. Welcome, welcome. Happy to have you. Where the hell is the tubing? I feel like I literally... Oh, it's here. All right. go. I'm missing something. Artery, forceps, tubing. Start up the old machine, and then maybe we'll use the wedding strip while that runs its course. Or is it over here? So gross! What is this? Yeah, 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 yeah. Where is this sigil? Oh, it's up here. Okay. Let me take a photo of that one. And I know we'll at least need the third before we can just start guessing all willy nilly. So we'll go ahead and close that up. See, the bodies aren't even acting crazy. There's just a lot of stuff going on, you know? But, like, the actual bodies are not acting weird. So maybe it'll be the third body. Maybe it'll be really, really obvious which body it is. Not that. I literally had just figured this out. It's a trocar. Because that's not it. It's a needle injector. I literally just figured this out. Oh, that's right. They're down here. They're down there. Cool. I can't believe the one time I bring the coins, there's no, like, event with Rebecca. Midnight Star, also, thank you so much for joining the channel memberships. Welcome, welcome. What? Oh. Maybe there is something wrong with his body. Right then. Oh. Maybe there is something wrong with this body. Okay. You're a little suspicious to me, bud. There we go. Alrighty. Now we gotta mix the cleaners in the bathroom closet, though I really don't want to come back out here, I'm not gonna lie to you. Yeah, you're acting a little funny here, buddy. Not sure how I feel about that. I need to... Oh, that's right. I need Raymond's code. Whatever his ID is. What is his code? 864453. 864453. 864453. 864453. 864453. 864453. 864453. 864453. 864453. 864453. 864453. 864453. 864453. 864453. 864453. 864453. 864453. 864453. 864453. 864453. 864453. 864453. 864453. 864453. 864453. 864453. 864453. 
as I just went out of my way to set it up. Um, I think all we have to do is moisturize him and then put him back, but he might be... I can't use that here. He might be the old demon. I don't know. I, I'm going to say don't right. sleep on Carmelo here because he might be the demon. Of course, it's dark as hell in here. Who the hell turned off the lights? Was that you, Carmelo? You sassy little shit. Acting like a real clown here, Carmelo. And I'm not just saying that to be nice. normal gentleman, but, you know, sometimes normal men can be demons also. I won't count you out just yet, bud. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and start examining you, bud. Something on the back there. Something on your arm. Oh, is that it? That's all you had? You're an easy case. Record system. So entry three, we're doing Randall Wise. Age 28, head nothing. Right shoulder is a mole. Right arm is blemishes. Right leg is a mole. Nice. And I think I should probably take one of these as well. Yep, right there. All right. So we have these three. Does that mean we'll find one more when the body is done? Or do we always have to guess? I don't know. I've never really tried. I've always just done the letting strips. Um, oh, that's right. We have to put this away. Like with a body. And then I've usually guessed. But I think we can do better than that this time. I really, really do. Embalming report. All right, now we can get started. Needle injector. Where are these needles? They're right here. Eye caps are back here. I really think that Carmelo might be it because there was so much activity with his body. And with the first girl, there was like nothing, you know? There we go. Rebecca. Raymond. Rebecca, I like welcome home. I'm down here. Thank you so much for your super chat. Hi, Lobby. Please make a welcome home recipe video. Lobby Lane's Kitchen coming to a screen near you. Rebecca. Yeah, I heard you. Oh. So, little Raymond thinks he found a replacement. Another sacrifice to save his back again! There's something you can do here with them. I think we have to check them all, maybe? Oh. Right. Well, we got a key. I think that's enough for me. It's all the same to you. Oh. Is that Raymond? 
I see. Huh. Well, I'll go check out this nice little grave that you maybe dug for me. Am I being buried alive? Oh, I am being buried alive. I'm sorry. Raven! Is it over? Oh, I'm up. I'm out of the ground. He couldn't keep a good woman down. And now I'm outside. I know there's something in there. I just have never tried to explore it, really. <laughs> I love the sound. Huh. All right, well, back to the eye caps then, I guess. Man, I keep getting interrupted right. from my work tonight. All right, now we have to mix together all the fluid. I always feel like by the time that I could explore that basement, I'm already running so low on time. I'm like, I need to get things done now. I'm so on edge now. <laughs> All right, that, we need a scalpel, and we need the artery forceps. So, do that. Forceps, PVC tubing, start the old machine. And then maybe try another letting strip, I don't know. it'll even do anything. Oh, it will? Really? Right there. Wow. Okay, so we have every single sigil that we need. I definitely think it's the clown body, right? It has to be the clown. Why is Jesus looking at me like that? Also. Oh, fuck. Sorry, dude. I think that the clown body by far had the most, um, like everything so far. All right, so fill it up with cavity fluid. Get that done. I don't want to jinx myself, but this one has gone on largely without a hitch. This body in particular. I mean, I guess I have been, have been having like pretty big story events, but nothing's been happening with the body. Oh. I think my um recording just Are you Rebecca? It's me. It's your grandma. I need you to let me in. Let me give it to work. Don't you love your grandma? No, I don't love my grandma. I need to get to work. Grandma, I have a mortgage to pay. It's so cold out here. You don't have to come in. Let me Girl, go to a 7-Eleven. Do not come to a funeral home. No. Can I get back to work? Let me, you little bitch. All right. Thanks for chatting, Grandma. There we go. Ew. What does that sound? Why is there eerie atmospheric music?
Grandma, does this have something to do with you, Grandma? Do I need to get st oh frick am I running out of time I might be running out of time okay I think I'm running out of time I haven't even started looking up the demon all right so oh my god I hope we get this done in time That one could be it. No, it needs this one too. Am I screwed? Did I wait too long? Okay. Cause that one almost looks good, but it's not quite white oh i think this one is it it's tell duck tell duke it has the symbol another symbol it has all three of them okay okay it's tell duke tell duke okay wait i should take a photo of it so i can do this correctly and then i need to go get the clown body All right, I need to do this first. This is this one. This is this one. And then this is this one. All right. And I don't think that it's this body. So I'm going to moisturize him, put him away, and then... What? People make up stories. Death is a scary <gasps> thing to a lot of people. No one's embalming any ghost bodies or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Alright. Alright, well... Let's get you the hell out of here. Oh my god! No, 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 no! I'm so close! into storage. Oh my god, please get out of there. gonna leave you here go get the mark put it on you and then burn you take the mark put it on this man are you sure this is oh i'm sure buddy i am so sure i've never been more sure in my life There we go. Hee 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 hee. Bye, Carmelo. It was really nice to see you. Thanks for all your help. Oh my god, spooky. I did it right this time. I think I did. I'm pretty 
sure I did? You know? Oh my god, Carmelo, no! Oh, there he goes. Off to be a clown once more. You've come a long way. It's nice not to be the one down there for a change. <sighs> Mr. Dover? I think you can just call me Raymond at this point. Do you always just pass out and wake up on the floor? I think we did it. It takes a lot out of you. I've never simply walked out of here after. You get used to it. I'll be sure to clean the floors better. Raymond, will this ever end? I honestly don't know. I've been doing this a long time, Rebecca. I've traveled all over, learning everything I can. I've never found anything that could put a stop to it. Ooh. So no, I don't think it does. So we're just like this forever? Haunted? It was hard for me too. But this is the life we get. We have to face our worst selves, constantly. But the better we know ourselves, the stronger we are. Why don't you head home? Get some rest. We did it! Who knows what's coming tonight? <gasps> Foreshadowing. Wow! Okay! We actually did that one correctly. We've only gotten possessed one time since I started playing this game. I did it! I kind of want to get into the basement. I don't know if I'll do a full other playthrough, but I kind of want to see what's in the basement. I never do it because I'm always like, oh, like, I don't want to, like, run the risk of getting possessed or something. But Romy just said that apparently the basement is, like, a different ending. I think it's, like, way shorter gameplay, though. Take those just in case. Love you, Dad. All right. Get to work. Slay. <laughs> Halloween. I guess the mortuary looks so cute all decorated up for Halloween. I love it so much. <laughs> it's so cute. Oh my god. All right, we'll grab the clipboard. I mean, well, maybe there will be, I don't know clipboards in here. Hi, Maddie, thanks for the super chat, Maddie Blaine. You said, hi, gorgeous, happy spooky month. Happy spooky month to you too, friend. All right, so we have extra keys to the mortuary, which we don't need. 2550 is the current code. I need the key to the hatch outside, asked Zoe. So where is this key? <gasps> right there. So now we can just skip the bodies all together. I'm seeing if Carmelo is here. Maybe he's named something different and all of them. Yeah. All right, this has to be down to the hatch. Thanks again for the super chat, Maddie. I love you. That's not it. Oh, that's not it? That's not it. What's the large old key do? Where does the large old key get into? Romy, help. This was your idea. Large old key, huh? Yeah, I thought this one opened up a safe first, but I don't know. 
Someone learn this for me, please. So that I may enter. The basement. Because I have an old key. Oh, what's this? What is that? The safe? Is this one two five five zero? Is that doesn't do anything? Yeah, Romy, backseat me. I don't know where to go. I don't know what to do. Tell me what to do. So I'm not planning on doing a full other run. But I'll totally check that out. The key is in a cabinet, left corner of the room, facing the player character. Left corner of the room. <laughs> Sure. Hmm. The spare keys you can't take. It won't let you take those spare keys. That's so interesting. Because there's definitely not anything like you can't take the spare keys. Like you can't take these, you can't do anything with them. I have the large old key. I can't do anything with it yet. I have a large old key. Hmm. Weird. Alrighty. Well. The key is in the safe. Where's the safe? So what does the old large key key do? You need the code, the keys, and the safe. Can you not get it every playthrough or something? Huh. I don't even know where the safe is, Romy, so I don't know. Uh, I'm not sure. Because there's, like, I don't see a safe or anything around. Unless this is the safe. Yeah, where are you supposed to find the code, usually? You can give it to me, though, Romy. I'm waiting, whenever you're ready. Okay. <laughs> I can also... Did you hear that? Okay, so now we have the hatch key. So now we can see what's going on in the hatch. Thank you, Romy, for your service today. What if the old large key does then?
I'm missing something. A tape! We're missing a tape. Oh, there's extra cleaning supplies and stuff down here. That's cool. May 29th, 1983. I'm not sure why I've decided to write this. I don't keep journals, but it may be the only way I can deal with what's happened. To get my thoughts out. I thought this was over, but it's happened to David. I remember so vividly what it looks like. I don't have any plan here. I just wanted to write. June 3rd. I keep thinking about David. I feel horrible. What he became was terrifying. I remember everything, but I haven't seen it in a living person before. I knew in my gut what was happening, but I couldn't believe it. It's almost been two decades. Are you heavy breathing? It's not playing any audio. I'm gonna do my best impersonation of Raymond. This is Raymond Delver. I know this will sound crazy, but I believe I am being possessed. If I am to disappear, know that it was not of my own free will <laughs> and that I am a danger to anyone I may encounter. I should be killed on sight. This sounds, this sounds terrible, but the woman locked in the basement must also be killed. Breathing heavily. <laughs> For anyone that may encounter this, if you are experiencing possession, the blood of the possessed will react to the name of the demon present. Injecting the blood of the possessed into a deceased body with demonic tenacity Tenacity? Uh, it, it, it will react for revealing possession and form the foundation for binding the demon to the body. Then it can be marked with its name and burned. That should banish the demon. I'm sorry for what I've had to do. Know that it was the only way. It was only ever done to stop it all. Well, Raymond, I would have loved to have heard it from you, but that's fine. Um, so I have actually been in the basement once before. It's been a while since I've explored it. I've at least watched gameplay of it. But basically, Raymond is telling this, um, this acquaintance that this package contains some of the clay carvings I've made in an attempt to create the symbols you shared. I've also designed a holder for them. My hope is to combine the markings and a holder to compromise, to comprise, not compromise, a demonic identifier that will also call the entity to it. Bind it if correct. It contains the ash of the burn coferous, and it was lined with demonic calling runes. It can react with flesh blood from the possessed. And then he gets back, Mr. Delver, it's a great shame I will not be seeing you, but I appreciate you sharing this with me, as this does seem to provide a reaction, and what you have made does make sense. It's a very clever way to identify a specific entity. So I guess all of these writings were happening when Raymond was figuring out, like, how to get rid of the demons and stuff. However, I am curious as to the reason for the body identification aspect, as which, as you would need blood of the possessed inside the vessel which i assume would already be the case and i don't know how to say that word tenancy 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 would be obvious oh my god i wanted to say like tenacity or something but that of course tenancy like tenancy inside of the body so i don't really see the value of identifying the vessel however the demonic identification and binding aspect of this is fantastic thank you for sharing your work it is a great help to mine as you've requested i returned everything with the shipment with great respect so, that's locked. So, in his journal, um, he's recalling, I guess, something that someone turned into. When the body came in, David... Oh, wait, did this just happen, but it's been two decades since it started? When the body came in, David almost instantly became irritable we both knew something strange was happening but it directly affected him he felt sick and went home for the day only to return that evening saying he felt he wanted to come back and wanted to work 
I tried to tell him he was in danger, that this was all real. He insisted on working, became irrational again, and asked to work alone. I again told him what to look for, but he dismissed me. I went and bought a camcorder and told him to at least record anything unusual. I wanted to be able to show him once he was in a moment of clarity so that he would allow me to help him. But it all happened so fast and was over. I don't know what to do. I feel helpless. I'm so sorry, James. So it's just getting more and more and more victims. Andrea, now it won't stop. I don't know what to do. Not everyone is suspectable. Suspectable. Suspect. Suspectable. Yeah. Makes me never want to hire anyone again. I can't lose the mortuary either. Even if I did close, it would happen to me eventually. I'm back to writing here again. And this is years later. It's been so long, I thought it was over. But I guess I've just been lucky. I'm scared. I was hoping that this would never happen again. I have a feeling it's only going to happen more. Poor Angela. Oh my god, Maria, Angela. Wait, I almost fell victim before. It's only a matter of time now until it chooses me. I don't want to be alone, but I think there is no escaping what has happened. I will miss you always, Maria, but it was the right thing to leave you, to keep you safe. I know you would never understand. A couple of years later, he says, I tucked this journal away and forgot about it, trying to move on. I found it again today and guess I have just been in a horrible place for a while now. I can't live with all this guilt. I feel so alone. I feel so angry at the life that's been taken from me. <coughs> <coughs> I sought my life to take care of her, and she brought this in. I can't blame her. That's not fair. It's not her fault. Hello? Okay. Anyway. It's not her fault. I have to find a way to stop this myself. I've just been sitting here, huddled in fear, hoping this won't happen again, that it won't happen to me. I don't have much money, but I need to start researching this in a real way. I need to take control. And now. Are you out there? Oh. Hello. Oh, I knew you'd find me. I'm so alone and I'm scared. Please help me. I'm fucking scared. Don't you hear me? Okay, Romy, what do I do now? You just need to open the lock. <gasps> Raymond keeps the key with him. him. You need something to cut, cut it, it off. off. Okay! See you in a bit, girl! <laughs> Hey! I'm so glad you made it in for a bit of a live. Thanks so much for the super chat. Love you. I hope you're having a good day. Okay, so... Hello? Hello. Rebecca? Rebecca? What the? Bye, Rebecca, too. 
You need something to cut it off. Of these, of the keys right here? Well, we already used the large key. We used the large key to get into that basement room, y'all. So now we need a smaller key to get into the lock and let out the crazy lady. Girl, don't let her out. Why? She's literally girl bossing all over the place. And who am I to deny her? I need the hammer. What do you mean next to the tape? Next to the tape, you need the hammer. Oh. Oh, also, Ash, sorry. I missed your super chat earlier telling me to scribble. I think you already left to go to sleep. I love you if you're still here. Or if you watch this later, I'm sorry. Okay, so the hammer. Hey, girl. I found a hammer. Find something. Well, get so get something to break this open. Well, then in the, wait, you need the hammer, open the fuse box. What? The bathroom? Did I just waste the hammer? Did I just waste the hammer, besties? Do I have to restart? Because the hammer's gone. I was like, oh, this makes sense. It's a door down here. But instead it just exposed these? Oh no. Oh dear. Oops. <laughs> Romy said no. Okay, I'm holding Romy. I'm holding. I trust you with my life. Hello. Go to the bathroom. I'm going to the bathroom, girl. <laughs> We're all just waiting on Romy to backseat us through. Thank you, Romy. Fuse do we have to turn off? I can't do anything with it. Oh, I can't do anything with it. Okay, <laughs> well. <laughs> Alright, I think I'm probably gonna start looking this up myself. Romy, if this is easier, can you just send it to me? Can you send me whatever you're referencing on Discord? Because I think at this point, probably, it, it's probably faster to just send it straight to me. Okay, thanks, Romy. I haven't done shit, to be fair.
Yeah, because I think I'm lost. I don't think I understand what you're saying. I'm Romy. Can you just send me the article? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's see if I can figure this out. Yeah, because there's like so many. I think I think like just continually looking and seeing if I can figure this out based on like a game of telephone, probably. Alright, hit the second basement door. Hit the desk right last drawer. Wait, what? Main hall of the mortuary. Oh, the main hall, not the embalming area. The main hall. There we go. Okay. Okay, so now that door should be open. So now we go back, we get the bolt cutter, and now we can let Valerie out. <laughs> Slay. Oh my god, sorry. Here we go. Thank you, Romy. We found it. We found it. And now this door should be open. Oh. I think there's certainly a VHS tape in here. There has to be. No, there's certainly a video that I can play. Why would you dangle that in front of my face if I can't play a video? Is it just telling me that the... Wait, it said that the door would be open. The door is not open. Do we need something else? Okay, let's see. Do we still need a key? There's one key, large old key, we've got both of those. Go back to the basement, just open the second door and pick up the bolt cutter. Huh, it's not working. We need the key, I think, for the fuse. Um, do you know where that is? Because it doesn't say that there's any other keys. To, what this says for me is that I still have to play through a full game of this and, like, ban, or ban, um, burn the body, which I thought it was just a cutscene. So... I don't know. Because I'm not sure what other basement key there could possibly be. And I can't take any more fuses. I think it doesn't want me to take anything else. I'm going to feel so bad just, like, giving up on this. But I have no idea. I found, but I found that key, Romy, under the piece of paper. I know what you're talking about. Like, I found it. Oh my god, my game froze again. Oh no. So weird. Oh, sorry. Oh 
there we go. All right. I'll double check, but I know what you're talking about because I moved that piece. I moved this piece of paper and that's where I found the hatch key. So I'm not sure. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll keep trying to figure this out, but it's possible I might not be able to do this, which is so sad. I didn't realize that it was an entire gameplay after. Like, you still have to play the whole game afterwards. Alrighty. What are we missing? I have no idea. Absolutely none. Whoop. Like, absolutely no idea. And I'm already pretty far into the game, so I feel like we might fail. Because it's like an hour and a half. I don't know. I don't know why it just put me over here. Um, there's only this one, honey. There's nothing else in here. Like, there's nothing else. Okay. Like, I, I've double-checked this over and over and over again. There's, like, nothing else in these doors. So, if there's, like, another cabinet, maybe... Um, but I didn't see that on the walkthrough. It says that I've gotten to where I need to do, and now I just need to... No, no. <laughs> Roby, I have the keys, honey. I have the keys. I have them. I think, um, now I'm supposed to just, um, probably play the game. Uh, which, uh, since I'm this far in, I guess I will just play it. Because I'm sure that I have the keys. I got both keys, and there's nothing else under the paper. Um... But now I think that I'm supposed to, like, burn her mark for some reason. Okay, I think something might be wrong with my game. Because I'm outside with the gurney. How did that even happen? Has anybody ever seen that happen? Why am I outside with the gurney? I have literally never seen that happen. And it was, like, teleporting me a little bit. But. All right. So I don't have anything for that. Well, girl, I don't know how to get you out. Get something to break this. Get something to break this open. Yeah, I'm really not sure how to do this ending. That is so crazy. Well, <laughs> I guess that's probably going to be it. Just my little body in the moonlight here. Wow. All right. Well, <laughs> back to main screen, I suppose. <laughs> that's so funny. I I don't think that... Um, I don't think I'm going to be able to do the Valerie ending because that was 30 minutes just based on getting into the basement alone. 
Um, so I think we'll probably, I'm so sorry that we can't end up finishing it. I thought it was just a cutscene. I didn't realize it was like an entire, um, I didn't realize it was like an entire like second playthrough or anything. I thought you would just get down there and it would be like, like a video, you know? <laughs> Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me, though. I had so much fun during our welcome home sesh. I had so much fun with our one uh, run through of the mortuary assistant. And honestly, we did a pretty good job. We did a pretty good job. I cannot believe that we ended up outside like that. But yeah, they changed it because it used to be. I don't think so. I think I think I know that ending. I know what it is, but I didn't realize. I thought that there was like an additional one or something but essentially you have to go down do all of those things to try to break valerie out and then still burn the body with the um with the like sigil thing so yeah i'll try to come in more prepared whenever we whenever we do that next time um oh yeah it used to be really did it change interesting because I, I remember that i just i assumed there was like an extra one or something but thank you so much to everyone for popping in i will see you tomorrow for scream stream sunday i had so very much fun with you all tonight oh you did used to be able to do it without a full play man they have changed it then huh i wonder what i'm thinking about because i remember i i knew that that was an ending like doing it that way. I thought there was just a shorter one, but apparently there was a shorter one and now it's the long way. T. Well, at least we got to explore the basement a little bit. <laughs> did we get out? No, but we did indeed explore the basement. Um. Okay, Slay, cute. Yeah, you have to get her out and then in the basement, there's a special liquid you have to put in the bodies. But there's a different basement ending where you just leave, I think. See, I don't see that one in the... Um, I looked up, like, all mortuary assistant endings because I was so confused. Um, interesting. That was so funny that the, the, the body just ended up outside. Just outside. Body outside. It was so funny. All right, I'm going to go feed these dogs and then feed myself and all of that fun stuff. But thank you guys so much for hanging out. I had so much fun on tonight's stream. I will see you tomorrow for Scream Stream Sunday. And I don't know what we're doing yet. I, we might do Greylock, um, which is that analog horror series I was kind of telling you about. Um, but we might do something else. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. The Mortuary Assistant's Halloween update is so freaking cute it was so adorable like the cutest ever all right i love you guys so much i'll see you tomorrow bye get some sleep get some rest i love you guys